we shall add Google login to this new Flutter app. And here is the corresponding Firebase project. So here we have to click on this button authentication and then click on get started. And then we have to enable Google as the sign in service provider here using this switch. And then here you have to provide a name. This name will be visible to the users and you have to select support email and now save. In the next step, you have to execute this command on the terminal. So you will be asked for a password and enter Android as the password because this is for the debug SHA key. Now here you will find this key and we shall copy it and you have to add it in the project settings of the Firebase project. Now install the packages Firebase Auth and Google Sign in, in your Flutter project. Once they are installed, open the login page and import the libraries Firebase Authentication.dart and Google Sign in.dart. Now we shall create a function and we shall write the authentication related code inside this function and we shall call this function from the on press function of the button of the login button. Inside this function, I'll show you the steps in the reverse order. So at the end, you have to make a call to a function named sign in with credential of the class Firebase Auth. So you have to get an instance Firebase Auth dot instance and call this function. To this function, you have to pass an instance of the class Auth credential. So we have to get that, and we can get that with help of the class called Google Auth Provider. We shall call Google Auth Provider dot credential. We have to pass ID token and access token. So we have to get those values now. So for that we are going to use a class called Google sign in. We have to create an instance and call sign in. This will give us an instance of the class Google sign in account. This class has a getter called creden authentication from which we can get an instance of the class Google sign in authentication. And this instance will give us the ID token and the access token. So to the function credential for the parameter access token, we shall pass Google auth access token and Google auth id token for the parameter id token. This function sign in with credential returns a future of type user credential. So we shall use await to wait for it and we shall hold the result in a variable of type user credential. We can access the information of the authenticated user from this instance. So let us try to print the name of the user, user credential dot user gives us an instance of a class called user and we can access the different properties of this class. So let us print the display name. Now run the app, try to log in and on the console here we can see the name of the user. So we have successfully implemented this portion of authentication. Now to load the home page on successful authentication you can use the navigator here or you can listen to the authentication state changes inside the main.dart file. So inside the main.dart file, while adding the widget to the property home of the material app, we shall listen to the changes of authentication state. We are going to use a stream builder here because we shall listen to a stream that we can get by calling the function or state changes of the Firebase auth class. So we have to pass this stream to this parameter stream and this stream provides us an instance of the class user. We have to specify that type here and this can be null. So make it nullable. Inside the builder function, first we are going to check if any error has occurred. If any error occurs, we shall return the text widget with the error message. And if the connection state is active, we shall try to access the value. So snapshot.data will give us the value, an instance of the class user in this case, or null if the user is not authenticated. So if it is null, then we shall return an instance of the login page widget. And if it is not null, which means that the user is authenticated, we shall return an instance of this widget my home page. Now let us also add a logout button on the app bar. So here to the property actions of the app bar, we shall pass the list. Inside the list, we shall add an instance of the widget icon button. Now inside the on press function of this icon button, we are going to add two statements. First is a call to the function sign out of the instance of the class Google sign in. And the next statement will be Firebase auth.instance and then the function sign out. So if you skip the first statement, then you will face an issue. Next time when you try to log in, the pop up to select the email will not appear and the previously selected email will be used for authentication. So now run the app, try to log in and you will notice that the log the home page appears and here if you click on the logout button, you will be logged out of the app. So this video is a first and to the point tutorial if you want a more detailed a longer version of this video take a look at the description you will find a link to it and like the video subscribe to the channel thanks for watching